You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Taylor and McLaurin series. Oh God! Oh God! So you're here because you've probably been here before. So. You know, there's a playlist loaded with examples after this. What are we doing here? Well, here, I'm going to show you where this magic formula comes from. If you're looking for <clears throat> examples in the playlist, in the playlist, in the playlist, we have three McLaurin examples and two Taylor examples, tailored. And you see, it's pretty much all over the board as to the functions as they're gonna go. Now, how is these? Hey, unreliable. All right, uh, uh, uh. when we make these, all right, so the videos in the playlist are with derivatives. If you want to see Taylor and McLaurin with forms, that's in the next video. But if you want to see find the Taylor and McLaurin with derivatives, hit this playlist, watch it in order. You're going to be good. Where does the Taylor McLaurin come from? Well, it's from the power series. If you trot out terms of the power series, that is just some generic <laughs> Yeah, all right, sure. Generic um, polynomial. Trot it out, it's center today. You find the radius convergence the way you do. But we're looking for a special. We're looking for a special power series. Yeah, all right, we're looking for special coefficients. And how? Well, that's the power series. So if I go and I look at derivatives when you're looking at Taylor or McLaurin, yeah. When you're looking at those, then you're usually looking at the derivatives when you're making those. You can also do it with the forms. So if I take the first derivative of the power series, that constant term, that goes away. Bye. And then what? Oh, you take these as a polynomial. Take that and rewind it back. So the degree is 1, so you drop that down. Then the degree is 0, and that's why this part goes away, and you're just left with that. Next, you take that, you write that down there. Okay, and now that's a 1. All right. Now, what? Oh, you multiply by the derivative of the inside, and it's a 1. All right, just mention that. Now, I take that, I put it down there. Yeah, and then I negate it up there. Okay, multiply by the derivative on the inside chain rule <laughs> it's one and then you have fun you do it here too there was a fourth degree I drop it down and negate it and then I multiply it by the derivative of that I'm gonna keep going I want to see what that second derivative looks like so here we go we're in here all right now the second derivative look at that it's gonna make that first derivative go away boom the constant term that is because when you differentiate constant terms they go to zero okay so then I go and I take the derivative of this and for the same reasons that that linear factor goes away so does that one so what am I left with I'm left with this without the linear factor and I go and I continue on with that actor this is that two take that and we'll wind it back that's why that's a one <coughs> Woo! this is nothing to sneeze at <laughs> all right so we take that and rewind it back all right and then and then and then take that and we'll wind it back. That 3 goes in front of the 4. That becomes a 2. Multiply it by the derivative of the inside. Chain rule. And it keeps on keeping on. Third derivative. Ah, constant. You gone. Then what? This is left over. All right. Same with that constant term. Okay. That 2 drops down front. That's where that comes. That becomes a 1. And that's that. All right. Keep on. Keep it on. And if we did the nth derivative. 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 Well, you see, it's going to follow the same form, the same form as the rest of these. It is going to be this without the x and what? See how, um, <clears throat> that should be a 3. 
See how the derivatives match? Yeah. And the derivatives match? Yeah. And the derivatives match? Yeah. Well, the derivative is going to match. Yeah. And then I'm going to have that linear term there. And then it keeps on going forever so that I don't go forever. I'm going to have to adjust that camera. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. This way. This way. This way. You. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to evaluate this. First derivative at the special value, a, the center. Well, what happens? What happens? a minus a, big fat zero. a minus a, big fat zero. a minus a, big fat zero. And if you're using that big O method, are you serious? They really have a big O method? Yeah, uh, we're not using it here, but some books have it there. Yeah. Anyways, it's identically zero after that, and you're only going to be left with that one term. Yeah, it's crossed out from a previous example. All right, so then you evaluate the second derivative at a, and you see all of that's gone, gone, gone. Big O. And what do you have left? All you have left is that 2, A, 2. Yeah, that second term. Okay. Now I'm doing that. This is later. Later. One minute. Wait, 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 wait. 33 seconds from now, we'll talk about this. Now I'm evaluating that there. So I put an A in for all the x's. Are there any x's here? No. Good day. So that goes to zero, that goes to zero, and all of that identically zero, and you're left with this then. Here on the nth term, I do the same thing, and there's no x's. This one has x's, and all of those have x's, and it's zero ever after that, and I'm left with just that n. I hope it's been 33 seconds, because this is what I was trying to look at. <laughs> I don't even know. All right, I'm trying to find the special coefficient, so I solved this for the coefficient, and there it is. I solved this for the coefficient, and I divide it by 2. I'm just going to call it 2 factorial now. So then there it is. I'm solving for a3. All right. And then I solve for a and then when you do that, you have just found, you may want to make a note of it. Is that little dangly thing supposed to be that way or this way? I don't know. But I make that note and now I'm looking at that sum n equals none to everywhere and my new a n. I heard the nth derivative evaluated it a divided by n factorial. That's what all of that is, and that's the magic of how this is going on. All right, all right. I write x minus a to the n, then, oh, what do you do after now? You find the radius of convergence, and you hit that playlist, watch them in order.